So in our last video, we saw how to create the quizzes. You know, we created this API where we can send our quiz data and then using the repository, we you know, added that entry into the database, right? Now, the next thing which we would like to do is create questions and map those questions to a particular quiz. Now, this is one place where we will have to use the relationships with type ORM. So, a question is related to a quiz, right? And, and a quiz can have many questions, whereas a question belongs to one quiz. So, let's just look at that. So, first of all, what we will do is we'll create a question entity. Now, I could have created a different module for questions, but I think right now it's not necessary. Plus, I would also like you to understand how to have different services and repositories in the same module if there is a requirement because what I see is the question itself has no existence. It will only come in using a quiz and hence the module really does depend on the quiz module and so i'm thinking that the entire quiz is you know a module which has the quiz and the question itself okay so let's start with our entity because that's how the table will be created this is a class which will extend the base entity Okay, and the decorator is added so that we have the table name here. Okay, and then for now, let's just go with one ID and a question string. like so and now if i go to my chrome browser go inside the database so i have questions now the thing is i already had that so i'm, I'm not sure let me do one thing i'll drop this entire okay yes so my application is run not running so what has happened is you know this is part of the r and d which i was doing so i'll just delete and drop this and now npm run start dev that's how we start our nest js application so what do we expect in here If I refresh, it adds the question table. And what do we have in here? We have the ID and the question. That's quite straightforward. And, you know, if we quickly want to also create you know, a URL where we can create a question, why don't we quickly do that? So I'll, I'll do it a little fast this time because we have already covered the aspect of you know, creating a route and then creating service and repository. So I'll quickly explain you what I'm doing, but yeah, it will be a little faster. The decorator is required. Okay, something like that. So the URL will be question and slash. Now, because this is a new controller, I'll have to let my module know that.
create now the DTO for the quiz. So create, sorry, the question, create question. Oh, there is one mistake though. The file name should have been a little different. Okay, this create quiz file name is different. I'll have to re refactor that later. But yeah, it's mostly like so. This is the string which I'm expecting. In here, as we had done earlier, I'm expecting the parameters in body. Okay. It's of type question, which is create question DTO. And because we want to validate that, I will run it through the validation pipe. Once that is done, why don't we for now just return question. Okay, no problems in here, but do I have the route? Yes, I do. So if I go over here, you can see this is what was my basic thing. So if I don't send anything, it says question must be longer than or equal to three characters cannot be empty and this is it so yes the basic thing is there now why don't we quickly create a service as well I'll just copy paste a little bit of code to save time In here, we will need the, not the quiz report repository, but rather the question repository. So we will inject that in a bit. Let's get rid of this. Okay. So actually not much was gained. I could have written that easily. <laughs> Anyways. So again, in the service, question service is injected because we need to provide that. Okay, and the controller will obviously need to add that. So private like so. And then inside the service, you will have a method async. Okay, for now, let's just say create question. Okay like so and this is here and then we finally create the repository yes uh, the bootstrapping is a little more in here i i would agree but once things are you know, settled it becomes you know, kind of a habit I, I would say so inside repository what i will do is entity repository right so export class Okay, the repository needs to know which entity it is working with so that's our question repository and entity repository decorator where we pass the question like so so the repository is ready and now our quiz needs to inject that uh, sorry the service needs to inject that so why don't we do inject repository question repository and we will make it available as private like this so this dot question repository dot how will that be it is going to be saved okay and i'll pass the question here okay it's an await so this will become a sync will return and this is going to return a promise which is of type question okay these are nice to have this is basically part of our typescript hinting so 
what I'm saying is that the service is going to return a promise with a question type. Okay. Now the question repository doesn't have any method, so we can skip that. But the save is basically going to return. If you see, right, um, it will return the entity, the promise and then the entity. Okay. So that's why we have this. And inside the controller, what now we can do is then now this becomes an async function because now we will be calling an async function from the service. So return await, sorry, not wait, await this question service dot create question. And because the create question is returning a promise of type question, I can also say that this controller is going to return a promise of type question. Now these are just um, you know, ways to tell the you know, TypeScript in better way that what type of data is coming and what is being expected. No, nothing else. I mean, you can skip this. It, without this also, it will work. There's no problem. But it basically gives a little bit of hinting and that can be very useful sometimes. Anyway, so let's see. I'll add this and it says nest cannot resolve question service okay question service was not able to resolve itself and why is that inside questions module okay one thing is there the repository was not added question repository so i need to add that I don't know maybe I can uh, let's see with this is it going to work no it says okay th th that is required providers this is fine so the quiz service is here question service is here and now it is working but when I send a request right it did create the object because I got ID in return which I was not sending so if I refresh yes it is there so based on our previous you know videos what i have done so far we were able to create this new entity called question and uh, we had we have set up everything for it to be you know created through a post request but now the important part is obviously how do we map them or how do we relate a quiz with a question so that's something which we will see in the next video